Are you at the moment feeling oh, a lot of negativity, perhaps you're overthinking a bit, feeling a bit overwhelmed and perhaps you could just be generally happier? Well, today we're going to go through a few tips on how you can make some lifestyle changes to start feeling happier and better about life. Welcome back to the Self Esteem and Confidence Mindset channel with me, Johnny Pardo, here to help you boost your self esteem, confidence and manage that critical voice in your head. So, through quite a lot of my 20s, I particularly struggled with this negative self-talk or the voice and having bad habits generally. I would go party like crazy at the weekend. I feel like rubbish when it came to Monday. I feel awful and this isn't uncommon by the way. You might relate to this or you might know someone who's like this. And then I just would eat rubbish, drink rubbish, and then it would just go round and round. Well, not always eating rubbish because I'd actually exercise a bit during the week. But then it would come through and I'd just be on this autopilot mode without any real, real realisation of what I was doing. And I was miserable at work. Sometimes I was in tears. I was really, really hurt and like, I hate, I hate this job. And even though I should be grateful I had a job, right? Uh, but I just felt really, really miserable. And the thing is, we can get into this autopilot mode and not really think about things. And we need to make lifestyle changes. But when I got to a really, really low point a couple of years ago, when I was really, really struggling, I then made a decision to change everything in my life to feel as good as possible. Now, it's always a challenge and I'm always going to have a challenge coming in and life's an ever growing journey without trying to sound too cliche. But... I kept changing my habits and always adapting them. And weekly, I look at them, seeing what makes me feel good. And that's what I want to share with other people as well. So we're going to go through a few habits. Now, when I work with clients, when I work with different people, different things suit different people. But there's generally some things, lifestyle changes, that are generically very good for you if you change. So let's go through these. The first one is energy. If you've got good energy, you're going to feel good. You need energy to do things. And it's consistently the habits you do to make you feel energetic. And so we're talking about your exercise and your nutrition here, but it can be things like your mental health, how you talk to yourself. Now, when I say exercise, exercise makes you feel good. Now, you don't have to be going to a gym for two hours if that's not your thing, but at least 20, ideally half an hour of walking a day or running a day because, or if you can't do either of those things, getting out in fresh air, getting out in the open, feeling good. So that's 20 or 30 minutes a day minimum to make yourself start feeling better. Now, the diet side, you need to, your, your diet affects you more than just physically. Mentally, it can drain our energy. If we're drink, eating too much processed food and things like that, get as much alkali in your diet as possible. When I say alkali, Things like sugary drinks, too much alcohol, snacks can cause acidity in our body, make them adding acid to our body. Now that's going to drain our energy. So we need to have more fruits and vegetables which have got alkaline sources in. Green smoothies are a perfect thing for that. Just keep adding more alkaline into your diet. So try and have, now you can have treats, of course, now and then, but if you've got a consistently good diet, you can have a lot more energy and therefore that is a great lifestyle change. The second one is the information and the people you're spending time with. When I say people, I don't mean like who you're hanging out with, obviously lockdown restrictions, probably not as many, but who you're listening to day in, day out. If you're listening to the news or something negative, you're not going to feel good. So if you start listening to motivational stuff, uplifting people, you're going to start to feel good if you do that on a consistent basis. What you take in is really, really key. So that's my next point. Do something daily for someone or some kind of contribution. When we help others, we start to feel good. Serving is what we do as human beings, helping other people. Now, I'm not talking about draining your energy and doing everything for everyone else and exhausting yourself because that's not good self-care and therefore you can't be as effective but I'm talking about just saying something nice to someone each day or doing something maybe donating to charity giving a little bit of money to someone homeless on the street or just saying a compliment for someone for their hard work or what they're looking like so that's my third point and then the fourth one plan your day the night before or the morning in the morning 
Now, this sounds like it's productivity, which it is, but it also allows you to understand the direction you're going in with your day, rather than getting caught on autopilot mode and going down this negativity. Now, I haven't actually explained autopilot mode, have I? Autopilot mode is your habits you do without even thinking over and over again, and we're not even conscious of them half the time. So think about your habits and think about how you can change them but planning out your day looking at just your top three don't over schedule because that can cause boredom and a lack of variety and we need variety in our life and nothing's going to go to plan but if we've got an idea of where we're going our top one to three things each day then we've got an idea where we're going for the day and looking at the little things we're going to do in between them when you can add that in and then the final one is focus on feeling good what's good for you not what you should do to make you feel good what's genuinely good so for example i don't like half an hour of sitting down with meditation even 15 minutes but i like to be alone in silence i like to do tony robbins priming exercise i like to run in silence and that makes me feel good so think what makes you feel good and i like making videos i like writing i like a variety of things so look at what makes you feel good and start scheduling that in and this is something I look with with clients as well, like what's going to make you feel good? So they come up with a variety of suggestions. Maybe it's painting, maybe it's doing pictures, maybe it's doing puzzles, a variety of things for different people. So think what's good for you. If you do really, really want to focus on lifestyle changes and getting the right habits in places and you feel like this is going to really help you and I'm glad, but you'd like to get a a one-to-one -one basis or someone to keep you accountable and really identify and help you become more self-aware. Then I have a one-to-one -one mentoring program for both confidence and for helping writers as well. So if you've been really looking to flip your natural default into positive, feel good, feel empowered, have a more consistent positive setting in your system when you're turning on each day, then you can apply for all my one-to-one -one mentoring. Now, I do have a limited amount of space just so I can ensure quality mentoring and I can't take on everyone, but I look forward to you applying. You can contact me in the description below. Just hit the link. We can book a call and see if you're a right fit or you can email mentoring at johnnypardo.com. So thank you very much for watching the video today. If you found it useful, please be sure to give it a like or subscribe to the channel and share it with friends and family if you think they'd find it valuable as well. Remember, before I go, improve your self-esteem, improve the lives of others.